पैपिलोमा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड पैपिलोमा इज नथिंग बट एन अ पार्ट ऑफ ए एन डी आई एक्चुअली वट हैपन्स इज इन दिस द हाइपर प्लेजिया ऑफ द एपिथीलियल लाइनिंग ऑफ द डक्ट हैपन्स epithelial lining of the duct gets a hyperplasia hyperplasia term is used when more than two more than two cell layers develop in a sni of a any particular lobule or a ductular system it is or the lactiferous duct it is called hyperplasia now if this there is a persistent hyperplasia keep happening and the influence of the hormone keep erratic and the hyperplasia goes pronounced it may progress to a papilloma a polyp like growth will pop out from the lining epithelium of the duct now if it's a single type of polyp which pops out it is called papilloma if five or more than five this type of polyps appear in one duct or many ducts it is called papillomatosis it is called papillomatosis and if this condition having five or more polyp like growth in a one or multiple ducts this can be unilateral can be bilateral this condition then and if this is there in less than 30 year old female a young female if multiple polyps are there in one duct or multiple duct in a unilateral or a bilateral breast means papillomatosis is there in a unilateral or bilateral breast in a young female who is less than 30 years of age it is called a juvenile papillomatosis or a swiss cheese disease it is called a swiss cheese disease and what is very very important for us to note here is intraductal papilloma has no risk of malignancy however papillomatosis and juvenile papillomatosis has a risk of malignancy so papillomatosis is a pre malignant condition papilloma is not now how do these patients present the most common presentation of these patients is nipple discharge and most common discharge from nipple in these patients remember is a blood stain discharge it is blood stained discharge and remember intraductal papilloma is the most common cause of blood stained discharge from single duct and please further highlight it in your notes the theoretical point intraductal papilloma is not only the most common cause of blood stained discharge from a single duct it is also the most common cause of blood stain discharge from a nipple even and you can easily appreciate very important point to be observed in this what i have written most common cause of blood stain discharge from single duct is the intraductal papilloma but once there is a single duct blood stain discharge 4s i know i have to be having a very high suspicion of malignancy so that means single duct blood stain discharge should raise my suspicion of a malignancy though but most common cause of single duct blood stain discharge actually is intra ductal papilloma right and most common cause of multiple duct blood stain discharge is duct ectasia